Well, hello again, everyone. This is Civic Dude. And you're watching Surviving Minecraft, episode three or four. <laughs> be asking yourself, why am I standing on top of a tree? Why is there a creeper in the background trying to find me and hurt me? Well, I've been busy. Let's go check it out. Okay. First, let's kill this creeper. We'll dispatch of the foe. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was annoying. Now I have to rebuild that. Uh, that was close to what it was. Okay. Check it out. Look at this huge tree I made. I've been farming some trees. And this thing is huge. I think all but one, this is 12, it's 4 by 3, so it's 12 trees. And as far as I know, all but one of them has grown. It's kind of crazy. Let's give you one more look. But I digress. What I want to show you is what I've done so far. Made this cool passageway into a room with my wheat farm and my sugarcane farm. That's coming along nicely. And I just put uh, you know sand around the edges, water behind these underneath this wood all along the sides. So the sugarcane will grow. Bing, bada boom, bada bing. And I need some more leather so I can get more books. I've also moved my bedroom back into here. <coughs> you know, going to make this pretty cool eventually. It's kind of boring right now. But I've been working on a storage room. All right. And right now I'm just rudimentary pillar up and pillar down when I'm done. Lava lamps for potholes, lighting, hidden door for access to the storage units, stairs on the tops so I can open the chests. This is basically a T flip flop hooked up to two pistons behind here, sticky pistons that uh, retract and push out the blocks to cover the doorway. Pretty exciting. Okay, so the main thing I want to do today is locate and begin work on our main mining hub. Um, I don't like to I don't like to copy people too much, but you know, the thing I want to do is a grid mine um, and there's not much ways. There's not many ways to do those. Uh, let's just be honest. There's, it's a grid. A grid is a grid is a grid. So, oh, there's my boat. I have a nice. Oh, check this out. I have a nice lagoon. Back here on the backside, which leads to my first island over there. So it's pretty cool. And I let's see. Right here is going to be a secret doorway that, you know, you push a button on a tree or something and these two blocks will move and boom, doorway that goes directly above the wheat farm. So that'll tie in nicely there. Now, okay, I want to put this mining operation in a good location of the island, but in order to do that, I mean, this isn't a huge island, but a good way to to do that would be to map out this island. So I'm going to make a map. Let me see if I can remember how to do that. It's been so long since I've made a map. 
Uh, let's see. Is it maybe that? Nope. Maybe that? No. Maybe this. Nope. Okay, hang on. I'm going to go check this out. Okay, so I was way off, apparently. I have to make a compass first. And that's not a problem. Just go compass. Oops. Compass. Like so. And then compass with paper. Like so. There we go. Okay, an empty map. Now, wherever I start holding this map is where it maps the center. So I'm going to try and get to the center of my island and map it out from there. So let's see. Let climb those stairs. Some gravel. Or not stairs, let me climb this tree. Pretty close to it, actually. Yeah, let me just start from my, my little home. That would be close enough. This isn't a very big island. In fact, I can probably fit my island and the starting island on this map. So that'll be exciting. Okay, so my front door is where I'm going to start this. There we go. Whoa. Look how detailed it is. Why is it... Why is it like this? I need to read up on the... <laughs> I need to read up on the mechanics of maps, apparently. Why did it just start out like that? That's not exactly what I wanted. No. I can hit somebody with the map. Awesome. Hmm. This is a mystery. Did you hear that? There was a cave somewhere. I don't think I've been to this part of the island yet. So I'm not even sure what's over here. Hmm. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do some research real quick, and I'll see why this map is doing like this. If you guys can tell me in the comments, that'll help too. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently, what is the problem is that I have a map of scale 0, or 1, whatever. I have to make a bigger map. The way to do that is to surround a map with paper. I did not know this. This is something new. Oh, okay, so it changed to map 1. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's check it out and see what it says. Haha, <laughs> now it's bigger. That's pretty cool. We're going to have to make it even bigger, though. I can tell for sure. Okay, map number two. Oh, 
There we go. That fits our entire island on the, uh, whatchamacallit, map. And let's go explore real quick. We'll fill out this map, at least the part that's on the island. Okay, so I'm not sure if I want to, where I want to put the mining facility because, I mean, I want to have it in the middle-ish of the uh, of the map, but or of the island, I mean. But I mean, I'm in the middle of the island with my home, so yeah. Hmm. I don't really know if I want the the mine. I'll just start calling it the mine. I don't know if I want the mine to be in my home, per se. Hmm. Well, I'll just have to find a good spot. I mean, I do have that ravine that's uh, on the left side of the island, if we're looking at it from the map here. Oh, gosh, what was that? Oh, well that's pretty sweet there. I'll have to mark this spot and check that out later. I haven't seen any caves on this island, so that's going to be the first one. So I think I might make a couple maps. One a little bit smaller, and then this larger one. That'd be pretty cool. Let me go map out this section. Okay, I'm going to finish mapping this out, and uh, I'll check back in in a second. Okay, well, I've ran across this entire island, and this is almost exactly dead center of the main part here. And you can see that my home is right through there. So it's if I dig right here, it's not directly on my home but it's still in the center of the island. So I've got this nice flat piece of land right here. I'm going to build this out just a little bit more to make it slightly bigger. And then I'm going to start digging down in a four or a two by two down to uh, feet position 11. So 79 minus 11, that's 68. I've got a lot of digging to do. To do. I will check back with you whenever I finish that.
Okay guys, so quick update. I've already dug out the first long tunnel here. I'm making these each 100 blocks long from the center. So I'll have a square essentially of uh, diameter 200 blocks. So you can see, dug the whole thing out. That's one, I've got three more of these to go. And then after that's done, I'll connect them all, um, you know, going side to side to connect the corners. And then once that's done, I'll start branch mining in between. You can see we've got some lava on that side. Quite exciting. And then I've started this one, and you can see this one's already going to be great. I've got diamond, gold, iron redstone and coal all right here so this is gonna be a great a great branch this one all I found was iron no diamond a little bit of redstone no gold so I will continue digging this out and I'll be back in just a second well folks we did it we finished the second leg of the mine shaft. And so far we picked up some pretty good resources. Found one cave in this branch. It's right here, dead ends over there. Up there goes to a ravine, which is gonna be awesome. That might be the ravine that's No. I don't think actually that's a different ravine than the one that's on our beach. I think it is at least. So we found some good resources. Finished two of the four arms, branches of the mine shaft. Picked up some good resources. One thing we're going to need to do before we start actually branch mining this entire thing out is get a good pickaxe, a good, diamond, a good enchanted diamond pickaxe. And in order to do that, we're going to have to build ourselves an enchanting table. And what is a good enchanting table without a good enchanting room? Let me ask you that. I can't think of anything. Nothing better than having a good enchanting room. So that's a little preview for the next episode. That's also why there's so many cows over here. Because I need their leather for the books. So, anyways. With that, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. See you guys later.